Thanks, Tucker. So it might seem like an odd transition to go from what's happening in Afghanistan to UFOs, but if you take three steps back, they're on par as major developments. The U.S. government released a report telling you some of what it knows about UFOs, but it turns out that report was dishonest. A lot was left out. We have taken a close look at what the government is not disclosing. We'll tell you some of it straight ahead. and originals. It's the show that has America talking with stories other media outlets just won't touch and exclusively on Fox Nation. Now, Tucker uncovers the mystery of UFOs. UFOs are real. They've been well documented by our government for many years. This is not just science fiction. This is not just conspiracy theory. For the first time, we had videotape. So this is now real science. The evidence 100% contradicts what the U.S. government and the military wants us to believe about the UFO phenomena. How safe are we from extraterrestrial threats? There's a lot of reports about UFOs being seen around military test areas. That is the definition of a national security threat. So why the secrecy? Will government officials finally tell us what they know? It's enough to make your jaw hit the floor. New episode of Tucker Carlson Originals, streaming now, part of Fox Files, all this month on Fox Nation. We brought you reports last night that Congressman Adam Kinzinger of Illinois had been seen crying again. We promised to get to the bottom of that story. Members of Congress are technically speaking sent to Washington to vote and not to weep, and so we thought it was worth following up. Tonight we have an update on that. Congressman Kinzinger has been spotted crying again, according to our sources, in a place where you rarely see tears, in Waffle House. You're seeing the Waffle House location on your screen. If you look closer, you will see Adam Kinzinger clearly distraught, crying inside a restaurant that serves waffles. According to our sources, it's unclear exactly why he was crying. A shortage of boysenberry syrup, said one. Links, patties were not available, said another. We can't tell you more. But if we see Adam Kinzinger crying again, you will see it here first. So for many years, UFOs were the province of wackos, people who famously wore tinfoil hats. And then, out of nowhere, we learned, actually, UFOs are real. The government has been tracking them for more than 70 years. So we decided to take a closer look at what the government knows and what they haven't told us. We have a brand new episode in our long-form documentary series, Tucker Carlson Originals. We spoke to a lot of different people on the subject, including physicists who study movement, to give evidence, to assemble a body of evidence about what these things do, what they're capable of, and who might be operating them. Here's part of what we found. For close to 80 years, our leaders have told us that UFOs aren't real. They're weather balloons or strangely shaped clouds, but they were lying. For decades, we now know, based on troves of documentary evidence, the U.S. government has worried a lot about UFOs. Strange, unimaginably fast aircraft of unknown origin, violating military airspace and moving in ways that defy known physics. What are these things? How much should they worry us? Those questions are worth asking, so we did. Physics is based on things that are testable, reproducible, and falsifiable. For the first time, we have videotapes now by which we can measure the characteristics of these objects. So this is now real science. This is not just science fiction. This is not just conspiracy theory. These things are real. They're violating our airspace indiscriminately. The evidence 100% contradicts what the U.S. government and the military wants us to believe about the UFO phenomena. This might be a subject that more journalists should take more seriously. I couldn't identify it. It was flying and it was an object. I, I, that's all I can really bring back. This footage from a DHS patrol plane shows a five foot long object moving at more than 100 miles an hour off the coast of Puerto Rico. Look at this thing. It's traveling much faster than it should. 
How many aircraft do we know can dive into the ocean? But these craft effortlessly go back and forth between the water and the air. Our missiles cannot do that. The stresses would be enough to rip the metal apart. The U.S. government has collected many videos like this. Dr. Kaku sat down to watch them with the eyes of a trained physicist. He had no explanation for what he saw. After years of official denials, in early 2021, the federal government declassified video of some of the Navy's closest encounters. We're just seeing a fraction of what the military has in its archives, and it's enough to make your jaw hit the floor. The Navy pilot shot this video off the coast of Florida in 2015. Yeah, this is drawn, bro. You can actually calculate how fast it's moving, the altitude, because we have the cameras, the equipment. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing, dude. And this object does things that no known aircraft can duplicate. These objects that we see on videotapes can do what we think no Chinese, no Russian, or no U.S. hypersonic drone can execute. They break the sound barrier with no sonic boom. They can hit the oceans and not break apart. One of the most vexing mysteries about UFOs is why the federal government has lied about their existence for so long. And just remember that our pilots have said that perhaps every day when they're on patrol, they encounter these things. But of course, many times they never report them. One of the most intriguing things we found was a potential connection to cattle mutilations, which it turns out are real. Something else we thought was the province of wackos. No, those are totally real. Been investigated by the FBI twice. It's, it's fascinating. Anyway, that's a brand new episode of Tucker Carlson Originals called The UFO Files. You can stream it right now on foxnation.com. So you're not allowed indoors in some cities. You're not allowed to buy food in public unless you're vaccinated.